What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to cover a new feature that has been unveiled by the Brave browser called Forgetful Browsing. And it's supposed to be a anti-tracking feature. And I wanted to go down and cover an article where I seen this being unveiled. So let's hop over to the article right fast and check it out. All right, so this article is on Bleeping Computer. And as you can see by the title, it's uh, Brave unveils new forgetful browsing anti-tracking feature. Uh, and this article was put out on May 14. I had it on my schedule to do because I wanted to go on and cover it because you guys know I like to push privacy as much as I can. Uh, people should be doing everything they can, they can to protect their privacy. And I always push the Brave browser as a great browser to at least attempt to protect your privacy while using the internet. And so let's get into it. It's called the forgetful uh, browsing feature. It says the privacy focus brave browser is introducing this new feature that prevents sites from re-identifying you on subsequent visits. This new feature will clear not only cookies at the site you specify, but also data in local storage and the cache when you close a website. While this will also automatically log users out of the site, which that that's one of the things with privacy, with uh, new features when it comes to privacy, you kind of give up some of the convenience that a lot of these uh, browsers have. That's that's one of the things you'll you'll give up uh, because it'll log you out. Basically, what it's saying, and it says it also prevents re-identification when they return to the site at a future time. Now it says users can enable forgetful browsing from the software settings menu and it says either for all websites so that's a global default or for a specific list of sites and here's a statement from brave software they basically said when this option is set brave will clear first party storage from the site a few seconds after there are no more open tabs from the site and then also forget for browsing clears both explicitly stored values so cookies local storage and index DBs, which essentially small databases and indirectly stored values like HTTP cache or DNS cache. Now it also says the Brave software team explained that although its browser offers robust protection against third party tracking, the privacy issue that arises from first party tracking remains somewhat unaddressed and so let me cover a little bit in here as well but focusing on first party tracking first party tracking has taken a backseat in the privacy protection consideration of browser engineers uh, because users consciously choose what websites they visit and actually have better control and a clearer understanding of where their data goes now while first party cookies are important for good websites experience such as staying logged in to a site or keeping track of rare content, several risks are still associated with letting a website re-identify visitors indefinitely. And I agree with that, but it says, uh, these risks include building rich user profiles for targeting advertising by aggregating more data and associating multiple visitor accounts with the same person or same household, thus breaking privacy proofing barriers. Now it also says Brave says that most modern web browsers offer already offer features or tools to deal with this uh, problem. However, they're either too fragmented, cumbersome to use, either too generic or too specific, or entirely hidden from the user. And that's something that a lot of these people, a lot of these companies do. They, they make it difficult to make changes to the actual browser in order to protect your privacy. Now it says, hence the team decided to develop forgetful browsing as an integrated tool that will be easy to enable and disable and won't require any vigilance or specific intervention after setting up. As you can see right there, it says to set the global default settings for forgetful browsing, head to the settings, shield, click forget me when I close a site. And I have it on, you know, it seems like it's working. Yeah, I have to log in and stuff every now and then, but that's the purpose of having a good, you know, password manager. You don't really have to worry about passwords too much. You just copy paste them, put them up there or whatever. Um, and then, you know, 
a lot of these password managers have that auto auto fill feature included in it that will allow you to automatically you know push your passwords to the site now it says uh, website specific situations like adding an entry or an exclusion from the global defaults will be as simple as navigating to the site clicking on the shields icon which we all know if you've been using that brave browser there is that shield all you got to do is click on it and then click advanced so if we go down here you just expand that advanced controls and then switching the toggle of the feature on so all you gotta do is turn it on so forget me when i close this site boom and that might be the best way to do it you could turn it on and you can go in here and modify it per the sites that you use so any other site out of that it'll forget so that's the best way to actually do it just turn on the global uh configuration and then uh set the sites that you don't want to forget and leave it on but you know of course that defeats the purpose but still you have that option for certain sites that you may don't care about uh keep staying logged in and all that stuff now it says brave clarifies that forgetful browsing will apply to sites and not domains contrary to how most settings in shield worked the new feature will be made available on brave browser for the desktop of version 1.54 the current stable is 1.51 while android users will get forget forgetful browsing a bit later with version 1.54 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh go down and check out this forgetful uh browsing feature that has been added to the bright brave browser tell me if it helps you uh tell me if you're <laughs> not liking it because you have to type in everything give me your thoughts you know what i'm saying i definitely would love to hear that down in the comment section below but please like share and subscribe to the channel if you're new here also i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep the tech